Hello everybody and welcome back to the awesome music of Crusader Kings 2. Last time we had quite a bit of a play actually. We conquered uh, the better part of Spain actually and uh, enlarged our king like a uh, fivefold. So this time we are going to dive back into the action and uh, let's have a look what we are going to accomplish in the next run. So, in like seven years time, not not even quite seven years, it's a bit less, um, we have established a large presence on the Iberian Peninsula. And I think we need to conquer something uh, to expand next. So I think La Mancha, yeah, I think uh, these guys just uh, should go. Let's start with these two. Declare war. Oh, 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 I see. What is this? Um, I can declare war on him, but not on him, because we have a truce for four more years. I could attack, but it would cost me nearly all my prestige, and I'd rather not like that. Um, so let's just go with La Mancha. He's a shake, shake Abdallah of La Mancha. By the way, is there a feast going on? Because if so, uh, if so, I'd rather not spoil it by going to war. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is tricky. Maybe I should have watched that last video I did to completion before I started the game. So let's just check uh, what we are going to do here. We still need a son. We still need a son. I have three daughters and no son. Yeah, so uh, maybe give that some time. A troubadour and his wife, uh, the Tro Barrett. <laughs> has arrived from Os Occitania. Their performance ranged from vulgar satires to political servanties. servanties and everything in between, including songs and poems of courtly love. Do they know falcon lead? Do I want to become charitable? Or... Huh. I think I should become charitable. That's a good trait. Isn't it? Church opinion, same trade opinion, diplomacy plus three. Yes! So, doesn't look like... Doesn't look like... Um, a feast to me. So let's go to war with La Mancha. That is Cordoba. But uh, it's going to be on La Mancha, I guess. So, huge armies are assembled. They are going to unite in Valladolid. Uh, anybody joining their side? No, they just don't want to. They know why. So, let's go. By the way, um, it might be a good idea to make our vessels stand down, because uh, raised levies just uh, make them mad. They're expensive, uh, people are not coming home, this kind of story. They have their army running away, I see. Hmm. Now, I think it's just gonna be a siege here. Um, my liege, it is most unfortunate that you happen to hold a title that all agree should rightfully be the be mine in order to lift this dark cloud from your relation from from our relations <laughs> may i suggest adjustment i don't like him i'm gonna reject diplomatically because uh, no <laughs> that all agree should be mine Tss. who does he think he is um Is there somebody I can imprison? Yes, him. He doesn't like me anyway. 
Mm, imprisoning him didn't work. Um, I think I'm going to deal with him later. But, oh no. Oh come on, this is just... This is just silly. Okay, let's crush them first and then deal with the revolt, because uh, this is becoming uncanny. Alright, uh, Uraka is not satisfied and keeps asking for more toys to play with. Diligent. Diligent. Yes. There's nothing better than a good education, isn't there? <sighs> All right. Um, Uraka needs a good education, so uh, go with it. Education is a good thing because it's uh, inc hmm. they surrender. Good, that makes this uh, stack go away. <sighs> um, there are some more titles I need to pass among my courtiers. So. Um, Rank, Princess, Courtier, Courtier. What about him? Yeah, he's good at intrigue. Let's make him a bishop. And uh, who else is good at my court? How about Rodrigo de Viva? Give him the city of Alarcon. And Alfonso de Madrid, um, let's give him the county of La Mancha. It hurts, but it needs to be. So, this siege is not going anywhere. I'm attacking those rebels and I want to drive them back to Santiago, where they came from. My wife is pregnant, yes. Oh man. Okay, this army is crushed, definitely. Um, as in, crushed. No, 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 doesn't work. What? Um, Navarre's War of Aragon. My cousin wants to be at war with. No, wait. Um, against Emir Ahmad. Yeah. Let's go with that. Um, I lose the trait Deceitful. This is not good. Deceitful is actually... <sighs> yeah, I think I don't wanna... Oh, another daughter. Who would have thought? Oh my. How old am I? I'm in my 30s, mid 30s, yeah, and she's in her late 20s. So never mind, never mind, we can have more children. Lots of them. Lots of them. So there's a victory here. Ah, this is good. Look at this. My liege, during my stay in Leon, I found a great philosopher who has agreed to help me with my studies to enhance culture in the province. With your permission, I would suggest that we employ him. Of course. 
yeah so for like 80 gold 90 I get 50 cultural tradition technology points which means that we can soon upgrade our technology um, my council has been doing a really good job of researching and stuff um, so I'm quite satisfied actually This war is not going well. Actually, it just became better. But uh, it became worse again. Alright, let's end this revolt. Enforce my demands. He's in prison. His heir is... this child and this child is his only family what if she dies tragically because uh, I don't like this, tra this traitor So one thing to really keep in mind is that you want to keep your vessels in check. Mm. This guy, can I revoke his title? Yes, I can just do this. And I will. Um, I have one more title to give at my court. Let's see. Court here, court here, court here. Gilles de to see us. He's mystic, he's diligent, he's lustful. No, why not? Um, let's give him this title. The title of Sant the County of Santiago. So, next... Um, I need my vessels to actually help me because this war is not going well and I need this war to be successful in the long run so if they just hold out long enough until my forces finally arrive Yes, so they're retreating to Tortusha, where we are meeting them and destroying them. Who's at war here, actually? It's the Kingdom of Navarre. So, these forces are actually splintering. Yes. Take this. Somebody went to war with me. These guys, what do they have against me, I wonder? <sighs> People are trying to kill my wife. What? Known plots. Hmm. No, no. What's my plot doing here, by the way? I don't like my plot anymore. I don't need it. 
hallway. Yes. King Alfonso was wounded in the thick of battle. Oh my god, I am wounded. But the wound has healed and now I am scarred. Um, ransom or execute. Oh man, I'm crushing them so hard. Um, that's the Emir, actually. Major Tarik was captured in battle. Shaikh. House of Abdalit. Oh, this is nice. Captured them both. Shaikh Muhammad and uh, that was, would be his heir then, I guess. So let's actually ransom or ransom or just execute. I don't need this money. So uh, this should be this should be really weakened. Yeah. Take this. Offer peace, enforce demands means they lose piety and they have none to speak of. They lose prestige and they have none to speak of. And they lose money, which they actually have. Hmm. Yeah, because I executed his relatives, uh, I think I boosted his resolve, his resolve, but never mind, there are worse things I could be forced to deal with. Um, you see that um, the central authority here is splintering. If the cent central authority loses too many domains, yeah, come on. Um, if they lose too many domains, they will, um, the kingship will be weakened. His vassals will demand more rights uh, and they will turn the king kingdom upside down. That's what we're going to see here. Uh, the question is who will actu actually profit from this? So I'm not sure if that's a good thing. For example with this one uh, it's printed into I think these three and something here and stuff. Um, the question is, uh, am I going to be the one who conquers it, or somebody else? Imprisonment. My cousin, my dear cousin. Yeah, I think you're in prison. Can I execute her? No, no. Why not? Um, I mean... Let's just have it stay this way. So, do you have enough? Yes. Not interesting. How are things going in other places? Uh, the Byzantines have conquered Armenia and Armenia has revolted. 
Also, I think they've pushed into the Balkans strong. Yeah, uh, Bulgaria is not to be seen anywhere anymore. Uh, the Muslim factions have been driven out of some Muslim factions have been, have been driven out of Sicily and uh, we are seeing revolts in this area aren't we yeah Apulia the duchy of Apulia became independent from the duchy of Calabria wow <laughs> Roberto will really fuck this up. Oh my god. Impressive. I think I'll leave it with impressive. So this war is still going on. Oh man, I just want to have peace now. I have so ma much money to spend. Um, my dear princess needs to be educated. Um... Anybody who's... yeah, I think... let's pick him. Uh, because it improves opinion and stuff. I don't need my spy master to... Yeah, I think this mission needs to be cancelled and my spy master rather should... Um, scheme. Scheming means that he's looking out for plots. And as I remember, there was a plot to kill my beloved wife, who gave, who has given me four daughters already. So uh, this should be a thing. Yeah, and this kingdom will be reduced finally. Alright, Bishop Rodrigo of Silos claims that he would be a better court chaplain than Bishop Ordofo and petitions that he should be given the title of court chaplain in the Kingdom of Leon. Give him a chance, oh come on. Um, poor guy, I mean he's like 17, he's considered a masterful scholar. And who are you anyway? Um, he's got 18, yeah, okay. Um, okay, I have to admit, he's a good guy. But I will give my bishop a, sh a chance. <sighs> Let's... Let's see, he wants to get the duchy of Galicia. Huh. No way, sorry bro. I'm sorry. So finally this war is coming to an end. Mm. We have so many battles. And now we've got some occupation too. So finally, finally this war is... What? Ah, my wife is pregnant. Let's, let's guess what kind of... Is, is it gonna be a daughter or is it gonna be a son this time? I have an heir. Oh my god, finally. Fernandes, Fernando Alfonso. No, um, I will just call him Alfonso to lead, to continue. continue the tradition of the name. So right now I see I can improve like uh, town infrastructure, church infrastructure and uh, 
noble customs that makes my yeah that makes my vessels like me better yeah see plus eight so let's go with this one and um, let's have a look um, this is something that I think I haven't talked about yet because uh, you see all those counties they are I mean you, you see on the map there's one province but all these counties consist of different sub-dominions let's say uh, for example um, the county of Neon can have up to four different holdings and uh, there are three different kinds of holdings. There are castles who fo which focus on like recruitment of military. They will give you lots of new forces that you can actually actually uh, call and lead into your, the field. And then there's the temple. They are the ones who will improve piety standing with the Pope, certain kinds of um, research, and there's the city that basically gives you tax. And we can jump right into this. For example, um, I can build a monastery school. If I have researched, uh, if I have reached uh, church inf infrastructure level 6 in this county, or uh, this would um, speed uh, speed up my technology rate. It would uh, increase my piety and my cultural technology points, which is good. Um, oh, in the city, however, I could uh, build a build a university, which would increase my technology spread rate by 30% and increase my econo economic technology points by plus 0, 0.01. Okay, I think that's actually pretty good. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I will wait until I have enough points to research town infrastructure and then, then uh, boost this. Until then, um, I need to do something with my money. I just have too much. Mm. Oh, 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 they're building a monastic school. This is great. By themselves. Not by themselves, it's the ruler of this certain dominion. Um, I'm gonna build a city guild hall, which will improve my income. And... Um, Yeah, I are here. Ah, oh, can I build something here? No, no. I have a bishopric, I have a city, so let's just build a castle. Yes. This means that I can give another uh, dominion, another holding to a vessel of mine, which will then... Uh, oh, I need a new spy master. Look at this. Um, spy ma he wants to become a spy master. He has an intrigue of 14, so let's go. Uh, he's currently leading troops, so I can't give him a mission. And there's a nice button for this. It's this one. Uh, scheme in Leon. The, this means that he will no longer lead troops in the field. Instead, he will uh, be active in... in his court duties. 72%. Yeah, there's been lots, lots of battles. Alright, and I need a new marshal. I think this is because the previous marshal has just died. So, um... Same goes for him. And here we go! Conquest! Conquest! Assault! Siege is over! Come on! Yes, I need a new... Ah yeah, I need a new ambition anyway. So, uh, there are still ways to improve my character. For example, 
I could use some stewardship. Let's go with this one. This will give me some uh, role play elements to improve my stewardship, and this will increase this will increase uh, the number of counties I can rule directly, and it uh, will increase my tax income. So the world is a dangerous place and devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you that people are conspiring to kill your daughter, Uraka. Oh man, this is... I don't like this. Well, my wife is pregnant, but I was away, wasn't I? Huh. So, let's have a look at my wife. She is deeply loyal, there's no question about it. She is... An underhanded rogue. She's pregnant, yes. She's proud. She's wroth. She's cruel. Uh, she's slothful and she's gluttonous. But still, I think uh, I have to trust her word. Um, I don't want to get into deep trouble here. And there's again a philosopher, which uh, whom I will gladly employ to popular customs. So uh, there we go. There's the first event for my stewardship. As you travel by carriage on a road in Leon, you pass by what appears to be an old shuttered inn. The sight of it fills you with questions. What forced them to close down? Could you do better? Could you do a better job than the previous owners? Maybe this would be a golden opportunity in, to improve your stewardship. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. Um, let's go with it. Pay 50 golds and uh, improve my stewardship. Let's let's do this. I don't like the vicinity of this army. Um, so, uh, the vagrants in your new inn have been evicted, the holes in the roof have been patched, and the whole building has been thoroughly aired, aired out to cleanse it of the most offensive orders. New staff has been hired, and the, and the time has come for you to decide on a name for your inn. Let's call it, um... The Drunken Squire. Why not? We've got a new Pope. Uh, the, things are very busy at your new inn, with everyone preparing for the grand opening night. Guests will be able to sample turnips for free, but if you added a generous amount of salt to them, people might become more thirsty and the mead sales would increase. Oh, come on, I'm the ruler of four kingdoms, I'm the... <sighs> yeah, and now I have to... Okay, um, at 20% salt, why not? Oh my... A son was born to King Alfonso of Leon and Queen Uraka the, the Cruel, named Suero. This is trouble. He needs to be excluded from the line of succession, or otherwise he would he may split my kingdom. Um, your inn will open soon to the public, but one last detail demands your attention before the opening night. Some form of act or spectacle will need to be booked to keep the guests around. After scouring the land for what passes for entertainment, you conclude that the following options are available to you. So, a lengthy sermon on the evils of vice by a local clergyman, no thank you. A traveling bard from distant lands, yeah, um, why not? Um, a renowned eunuch Castard singer, um, no. And a wild ass that allegedly speaks and recites poetry. 
Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna put the white ass. Let's go with a singer. So, finally, um, um no, oh, come on. The bard you hired for your inn's opening night was from far away and spoke a peculiar language. Yet, despite this, there was a strange, strangely compelling elegance and rhythm to his poetry and song. At least people seem to, th to think so. He's talking about me, isn't he? Sales were good, and you see no reason to complain. Yeah, keep the mid flow, the need flowing. Ah, uh, the sword did the trick. Um, they are moving into Saragosta, and I, I hope this is worth it. So I get two stewardship. Alrighty, we are crushing them. Yes. So, uh, my liege, uh, she should be released from prison? No, I don't think so. She's plotting all the time, and I despise that. Victory here. All right, uh, the... Duchy of Saragossa, I think it is, has been conquered by the Kingdom of Navarre. And I'm not really sure if that's a good thing. Um, however, I can arrange the betrothal to my prince, maybe? No, no, okay, they don't want to. Why? Prince Alfonso is too young. Political concerns, prestige effects. Man, this bothers me. Um, for now, let's uh, make our military stand down. Huh. A child needs to be educated, that should be my daughter. Go. I can hold a grand tournament. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, there's affection to lower crown authority and my sister. It's my sister. Oh, come on. No way. No way I can tolerate that. Um, People really want not kill me so bad. I mean, what's going on? Threats, yeah. My sister. I don't feel too well. Oh my. Um, it is time to let the tournament begin, and for the next two months. Let all show their martial brilliance. Alright, so there's going to be a tournament now. It is to improve my vessel's opinion. Ah, okay. Diogo Helmiris has been crowned the winner, the winner of my grand tournament. Yeah, there you go. He truly deserves it. Is it my court here? No. Count Alfonso La Mancha has bravely won him the second place, alright? And Count Cisnado of Coimbra fought his way to, way to the third place in my grand tournament. Good, good, yeah. And everyone thinks it's it was worth the time. Good. So I have just completed a castle in my domain. And, um... My princely son is going to get it.
my fever is gone and I'm no longer ill, I can uh, spend technology points to let's choose town infrastructure. Yes. So, uh, what's my... Oh, what, what, what? I can increase the centralization. Yes. Oh, come on, guys. Who does not want to vote on improved centralization? I need three more votes. Do I see that correctly? Yes. 